Okay, here comes Black Widow Rod Shop Video 2. Uh, a couple of months ago, I put a Demon Carburetor 750 on this with a 2 inch carb spacer as recommended. And uh, it has a choke on it, that's what I was really after. The problem we've got is uh, you can see I got a plug out there. I put three sets of plugs in it. The last time I fired it up and let it warm, let it run until it get nice and warm. And you can see that this plug, which has about maybe 10 minutes on it, is carbon filed. It'll fire, but it's just a mess. So I got into the instructions. Yes, Jerry Green reading instructions. I know that's hard to believe. And they're telling me that the power valve opens if uh, you got a competitive camshaft in it. This does have a hydraulic roller cam that's fairly big, but I hooked up a, um, a very good vacuum gauge to it and it had about 12 pounds. And they said if you're over uh, 12 inches. They said if you're over 10 inches, it shouldn't be a problem. But obviously, we have a problem. So, I bought the $87 kit here. And what we're going to do is change the power valve springs and I think we're going to go to one one long, larger metering rod which should lean it out. Now that when the power valve comes open, it's not going to make any difference. So wide open, it'll still have the same jetting. Right here is the little chart and it tells you what you got to do here. So that's our goal here. When I get it apart, I'll show you kind of what it looks like. It's not earth shattering. Other than there's, there's some little, um, I call them Jesus clips, because when you lose them, you say those kind of words. Okay, that's it for now.